If you're always way too hot or way too cold and everyone around you feels the opposite, you might feel crazy, mm -hmm. but you're not crazy. We are all a little bit different from each other. Setting the thermostat for an entire building is uh, probably going to make some people unhappy at all times. So there is a solution from a company that hopes to sell you a $300 device, and that is the Ember Wave. So this is something we talked about in 2013 at the very beginning of Nerd Alert. And don't go back to that video because I've gotten better with time, I promise you. But this was developed by three MIT researchers who were maybe too hot uh, during the summer. So they invented something that's, well, I mean, it's not really an invention. It's a different application of a Peltier device or a Peltier. It depends on if you use French pronunciation or not. But it's essentially a small um, device that varies between heat and cold that is placed on your wrist. And the way that you sense uh, heat or cool through your skin on that particular part of your skin uh, might affect how you feel overall. It uses different waves of, uh, well, whatever you choose. So you can slide it to cold or heat, and um, it would, in, in waves, give you uh, a change until five minutes later when you hopefully feel more comfortable. Mm -hmm. So this was just a concept the last time we talked about it, but now it is for sale. It's been on the market, but I think there is a waiting list right now. And it's uh, it's basically the same as an Apple Watch if you wanna buy this. Yeah, so, the design is really cool. And so basically by changing the temperature on one location on your body, your wrist in this instance, your, it, uh, it tricks your mind, body into thinking it's actually colder or yes, warmer. Yes, uh, but it is pretty small, as many people have pointed out uh, in the reviews. A small effect will not have as great of an impact on your overall temperature, but uh, it was reviewed yeah. in Business Insider, and the reviewer, Avery Hartman's, I thought it was pretty good. Uh, it wasn't for extreme changes, but they noted that sitting in a hot subway and sweating, they were able to make a small shift at the very least. So your internal body temperature stays about the same. Yeah. Where, where you're really being affected is on your extremities and yeah. on your skin. So there, I, I understand the concept. I don't know if I would Pay buy $300 this. For yeah. It. I'm waiting for it to be co-opted by Apple Watch. Yeah. Where they just buy it and yeah. then just put it in the watch, and yeah. now the watch is $500. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's. Uh, it's a good idea. I think it maybe isn't executed exactly how they would like. Uh, I would like to try it myself one day, maybe when the price goes yeah. down. Uh, but for now, it's you know it is it does seem to help people who just want a small change in mm -hmm. temperature. So don't expect yeah, the world. It, it's a stepping stone. Maybe we'll have something better in the future. Yeah, I like to think of it that way. Mm -hmm. If it's not an immediate success, maybe it will lead to decisions that come to something else that is immediately more useful to, for the consumer market. If you like that clip, I think you're gonna love the TYT app. You can get it at tyt.com slash app, and there you can watch full episodes of Nerd Alert and on-demand clips. And it's not just Nerd Alert, it's every show on the TYT network. You can get it on your phone, to go, wherever you want. And if you enable push notifications, you'll be the first to see what's new and what's live.